Okay, so my number six is another album from 2005. I don't know how many that is now, but it's quite a few. Um, and it is uh, the debut album from Block Party, Silent Alarm. So, Block Party are a band that, that probably get lumped in with um, a fair amount of other sort of indie rock bands from the mid 2000s, like your your Kaiser Chiefs or your your Cooks or your Razor Light, that kind of thing. Oh, absolutely. But um, Block Party are, are much more than than that kind of just indie rock sound on this debut album they're they're using kind of odd combinations of guitars and like modulating this the guitar sounds and their mad slide effects and and it just leads to some really kind of well crafted technically impressive rock songs and um i mean the the drumming on this album is 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 just insane um the the sound of the bass is um, really infectious and the guitars are, are, are just on the right side of that kind of jangly indie guitar sound that they, they sort of keep their impact without sounding too kind of wimpy if you know what I mean mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The, the shouts of it's so cold in this house on like eating glass are like are, it's a fantastic like opener to the album alongside these sort of crooning guitars and the other lyrics are about drinking poison and, and eating uh, glass, which actually, those lyrics featured on the very first band shirt that I ever bought, which um, I picked up at Tea in the Park um, that same year, I think, and it had the, the lyrics of like eating glass like printed around the side of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, eventually, it got a big hole under the armpit and I, I chopped it in half and, and framed it, but I think it's disappeared at this point but the album itself is just full of kind of um, bangers use that word a lot but it's accurate I mean there's like whirlwind screeching guitars and stomping drums rumbling bass on, on the song Helicopter and there's this sort of battling dual guitar riffs of Banquet um, with its huge chorus of um, turning away from the light becoming adult turning into myself there's I mean, I think that's a song about um, losing your virginity, but it's um, a really kind of pounding um, rock song. There are quieter turns on the album as well. There's the absolutely gorgeous Blue Light, um, the wonderful This Modern Love, which is a truly uplifting and life-affirming song. Um, there other standouts like The Pioneers with its sort of epic opening, If It Can Be Broke Then It Can Be Fixed. And there's the pounding Price of Gasoline with it's got... Um, sounds of military marching with that, with this uh, kind of thumping bass line and, and, and juddering guitars. What I also love about Block Party is they're not they're not afraid to experiment. And I, I mentioned before about their when I was talking about tongue mm. and um, how I kind of discovered tongue through Block Party and their remixes. Most I'm not sure if they've done it for all of their albums, but most of their albums they've they've followed up the studio version with a an album of remixes and the the silent alarm version is is brilliant with just some crazy like danced up versions of banquet and there's um there's even a cover of the song luno performed by death from above 1979 on there and um an errol alkin uh, version of she's hearing voices so if you look back to that kind of dirge of indie bands around that time block party or one of the ones that have sort of and above that and, and head and um, shoulders above um, yeah head and shoulders above the rest of the pack um, they're not a band I've particularly followed throughout their career for some reason or other but the follow up to this A Weekend in the City is, um, is a really good album as well okay. um, so that was um, <coughs> Silent Alarm by Block Party <laughs> 